Okay, and welcome to today's uh, presentation on the secret of Jeunesse. So, uh, in this video, we're going to showcase you. It's a webinar, all right? And we're going to showcase you on what are the late, the thing that Jeunesse is trying to solve, all right? So that you guys know where Jeunesse direction is uh, regarding the products on where it's going. Okay, so let's get started. Well, the first thing is you need to know something about Jeunesse. Now, Jeunesse is not in the health Sorry, it's not in the disease business, all right? It is in the health business, all right? So that means we are not about trying to cure disease or anything. We're trying to help people to keep them healthy. So how do we do that? Well, uh, Jeness is also not about anti-aging. So a lot of people have this misconception that we're about anti-aging. So as you will see later on, what Jeness really is about, okay? Now, Jeness is about Generation Young. So what exactly is Generation Young? Well, there are two things. There is a young generation and there is generation young. So what is young generation? Yeah, as you can see here from the slide, young generation refers to age, chronological age, young generation. Okay, so young generation is here where you've got a child to adulthood in your 20 plus. Once you're in your 40s and above, we call this uh, uh, older generation. Okay, so old generation and young generation. But what we are concerned right now is we're talking about cellular age because uh, someone can be at, at 50 plus and their body inside could be as old as 70 plus. And that's why they, they could die anytime. And a lot of, uh, even my uncle recently went for a checkup and because of his uh, diabetic background and his health issues and the uh, doctor was surprised that in, although in his early 50s, when the doctor checked and said, you know what, your body is like 70 years old. Is that old? So the most important thing what we want is called what we should be concerned is not our biological age, all right? Someone can be 60 but can be healthier than someone who's in his 40s, right? If his cellular age, the one at 70 cellular age could be at 50s, but the one at 40 cellular age could be at 70 or could be at 60, all right? So that's why cellular age is what Jeunesse is trying to solve, all right? So cellular age is different from your biological age, okay? But how come someone here who's old can feel as strong as someone who's younger. How is that possible? Okay, so that's where Jeunesse is trying to solve this problem. So this is called Generation Young. When you, you, when you're older, but then you feel that you're younger. So how do we do that? Now to do that, we need to understand a little bit about how aging occurs, all right? Now we do know that in aging, our body is made out of cells. So this is the cell in every of our body. So when our cells age, our body would age, agree? Right, so we have 16 trillion cells in our body that are aging every single day. So this is our cells, and inside our cells, you can see all these X. All these are called our chromosomes, okay? So this is a view of our chromosome, and in each of our chromosome inside contains two strands of DNA, you know, kind of like uh, two letters that are crossing each other. And then, uh, and inside the DNA, Inside our DNA, as you can see inside here, contains our genes. And genes is what made us, make, that's what we're made of. Okay, genes contain information about us, about our, how our face look like, our eyes look like, our heart look like, every part of our body looks like. It's actually from our genes, all right? So the problem is actually inside our chromosome. So when, your, when chromosome has problems, and chromosomes is inside the cell, so your cells will get problems. When cells has problems, you get problems, okay? So let's look into our chromosome. So chromosomes contains our DNA and DNA contains our genes, which is a representation of our health of everything about us. Good genes, bad genes are all inside there, okay? And from the genes, uh, the chromosome actually creates us. So we're made out of proteins. So the genes uh, would help to manufacture the proteins, you know, would tell the chromosomes uh, what kind of protein you create and that creates us. So our whole body is made out of proteins from the chromosome. So the central dogma is that DNA, how it does is that the, the cell will actually duplicate itself. And so when it duplicates itself through a process called RMNA, translate into proteins, which create our bone cells, our muscle cells, and every eye cells, your hair cells, every part of the cells in your body. Okay. So now that you understand that the problem is inside our DNA, so there are three problems that cause us age to age. All right. Three major causes. So the first thing is our DNA damage. Now, um, DNA contains our genes. So if our DNA is damaged, our gene is damaged, or the DNA is damaged, therefore turn on the bad genes. Uh, that's where bad things happen to people. So how does our DNA get damaged? Well, our DNA is damaged at least 1 million times a day. Can you imagine that? Your DNA is damaged 1 million times a day. So how is that even possible? 
So next slide. So the environment plays a very important role. The environment, such as the DNA that's damaged from the outside, which is the water that you drink, the pollution, the radiation from your phones, you know, radiation from your TV screen, the toxics that you're drinking, the chemicals, the preservatives, the smoke that you're drinking outside, uh, breathing in every day, the haze that's going on right now, you know. And then the other way is you get damaged from the inside. So how does your DNA get damaged from the inside? So there are three things that you get, your DNA gets damaged from the inside. There is oxidation, okay, there's inflammation and glycation. So only three, so I'm going to go through what these three are. The first thing is called oxidation. Now oxidation, what it does is that when oxygen, oxidants enters into your cells or your DNA, your molecule or your genes, it would steal and break away one electron. That means, for example, if you have a hand here, your finger here, five fingers, uh, someone shot a bullet through one of your finger and your finger is gone. So you're left with only four fingers. So that's how the damage occurs. The oxygen will come in and push out one of your hand, your electrons. So one of you is damaged. So that's one way to end damage uh, through oxidation. That's why you need to take antioxidants every single day. But why when you are young, uh, you don't have to take antioxidants, which later on I will tell you why. Okay. The second thing is inflammation. So inflammation causes damage to DNA, which is like allergies, you know, or you hurt yourself, swollen or injury, you know. So that causes inflammation. So inflammation causes damage to DNA. That's why inflammation or inflammaging is called inflammaging. Okay. The third thing that causes DNA on inside is glycation. So what is glycation? Glycation is related to sugar. Have you ever walked on a chewing gum before or a bubble gum? And when you walk, you to feel it's kind of sticky, you know, it's when you walk, it's uncomfortable. Now imagine this. Imagine your cells are moving around and they're creating proteins, you know, right? we're made out of proteins, right? And the sugar stick your protein together so much so that it cannot effectively create and repair your cells to create new cells because it's all stuck together through sugar. So that's caused the DNA damage. Second thing is that when you take too much sugar, Glycation increases skin damage. That is the first thing you will experience. Increases skin damage and you have wrinkles on your face. Okay? So if you want more wrinkles, take more sugar. Drink more coke. Okay? <laughs> so second is, so what are the consequences of a DNA when the DNA is damaged? Well, imagine this, huh? now that you know that your DNA Y is damaged 1 million times a day. It's because if your cell, one cell is damaged, one DNA cell is damaged, and because the DNA cells would replicate itself, as you can see a picture here, they will split and replicate a new one. So every time it splits and replicate and replicate, replicate, whenever the cell is damaged, the next cell that replicates and cop make a copy of itself is a damaged cell. Can you imagine? If your original cell is damaged, the next cell that copied out is damaged. So when you have poor DNA copy, you create imperfect protein. Protein makes up your body, so you have imperfect body, imperfect skin, imperfect eye, imperfect hair and everything, and that's where the aging occurs. Okay, so now we know that the problem is inside our DNA. Problem, the good thing about this is that, sorry, the good thing about this is that, how come, all right, how come most of the aging problems only occur after 30 years old? And most of the problems, you know, occur in terms of health, high blood pressure and all these things don't come before 30. Despite whatever rubbish charcoal tell you eat when you were in your 20s or when you were young all the way to 30s, why? Because even though your DNA is damaged 1 million times a day, even though you are young, you're 20, 30, uh, 10, or even uh, younger all the way and all the way to 50, although it's attacked 1 million times a day, but, it, but your problem, your body, sorry, has a auto maintenance that will repair your DNA by itself, all right? especially when you are sleeping. That's why you need to get enough sleep. The DNA will start to be repaired. There's a DNA maintenance work to repair our 1 million damaged DNA every single day. So whenever your cells is damaged, it will straight away go and repair. Whenever it's damaged, it straight away will repair. That's the reason why you eat no matter how much rubbish you take, how much smoke you take before you're 30, usually you still can keep healthy. But after 30, that's where all the problem comes. Why? Because your DNA maintenance after 30 is not as good anymore. That's why even if you smoke more between 20 to 30 years old, you don't age as fast. But when you smoke and you 30 to 40, you age very fast. Okay? So that's why when, when people are stressed over their schoolwork, you know, 
uh, when they are 20 to 30 years old in their stress, they don't look so old. Okay, but when you are 30 to 40, you're stressed in your work, you look very old very fast, right? Because your DNA uh, cannot do its maintenance as well anymore. And when your DNA, when your cells, when your cells try to do the maintenance, whenever you get damaged one million times and it tries to repair, and before it can repair, the cells cannot wait for the repair to finish first before it will replicate, it will replicate the imperfect one. So your DNA is trying to repair. So when it repairs, before it can repair, because the repair slow down after 30, right? So before it can even repair finish, it will replicate already. So you start having an imperfect copy of DNA. So that's when you get health problems, okay? When your DNA is being uh, affected. So the second thing is, second thing cause of aging, so we learned the first cause is DNA damage. Second is called telomere shortening. Now, have you ever heard what a telomere is? Now, a telomere is the protective caps of your chromosome. Now, what do you imagine this? <coughs> Sorry. Imagine that, uh, I believe you have typed shoelaces before, right? Imagine your shoelace has a cap. Now, your shoelace has a plastic cap. When your plastic cap loses its cap, all right, which is the plastic cap, when the plastic cap finishes off, all right, when you take out the plastic cap from the shoelace, what happens to your shoelace? Your shoelace becomes frills and it's gone. So basically, same. The, chromosome, the telomere, which is at the tip of your chromosome, is the one that protects your chromosome from dying which means keeps your chromosome together from the DNA from being damaged. Because the moment your cap is out, just like your shoelace is out, your whole shoelace is spot already. Same case, when your telomere, the whole telomere on top, the cap is gone, the whole thing will be destroyed. And when the, the chromosomes are destroyed, your cells is destroyed, your body is destroyed. Okay? So this man found out why. Why does your telomere get destroyed? Well, he found out that every time your cells split, all right, your telomere on your chromosomes gets shorter and shorter and shorter and the maximum it can divide is up to 70 times so 50 to 70 times your cells will die so after replicating 70 70 cells your cells will die because you've got no more telomere already and that's where autopsis occur autopsis the meaning means your cell die okay self destruct so why why does this happen well he found out that as we age especially after 30 Every time your cells replicate, you can see the replicate 1 become 2, 2 become 4, and every time it replicates, your telomere gets shorter and shorter and shorter. And according to the scientists, if we have no radiation and no DNA damage, anything at all, we still will die a natural death. And to die a natural death is because our chromosome just naturally would naturally, okay, whether you're healthy or not healthy, will get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. So the maximum you can live up to According to scientists, after the measuring of the duplication of the shortening of the telomere, it takes about 120 years for it to completely die. That means the telomere completely no more caps. All right, so you, that's why human beings, the maximum you can live is up to 120 years old. And that's why your telomere will determine how long you can live. And right now in the States, there are already companies, insurance companies that take your blood, uh, your so-called your blood samples, and then they will measure your telomere. If telomere is long, well, you may have to pay more money for your insurance. If the time is short, then you pay lesser. Okay? So, this is what happens when your telomere shortens. And I'm going to show you a video of what happens to your cell when your telomere starts to shorten. So, this is what happens. Okay? Your cells will start to age. Okay? That's when your telomere shortens. Okay? Next. The third thing that causes aging is called stem cells. So to understand a little bit of stem cells, what stem cells are, think of stem cells as the one that builds our house and built, built our body, right? That's why you can see the hands over here. You can see all their hands here building. So what do they do exactly? And where do stem cells come from? Well, everything starts in life when a sperm enters uh, the women's egg and creates the first stem cells called zygote. So this is the first stem cells. That's why the origin of us is stem cells and that's why stem cells is so important because we are all created from the first stem cell all right that's the origin okay and from the stem cells within seven days your stem cells will create adult stem cells and remember our product luminous is using adult stem cell technology and from adult stem cells it will create all kinds of cells from adult stem cells it will create your heart cells your circulatory system your nervous system your immune system so that's where Every one of us are created from stem cells. So stem cells are very important because we need 
fresh cells to replace old cells all the time. We need fresh cells all our life, in fact. So the stem cells will create the fresh cells. The stem cells will create the nerve cells, the liver cells, even our blood cells. Our blood cells the, will also die, right? So they need stem cells are the one that create new cells. So are stem cells important if it's the one that creates you? Obviously. So stem cells also got DNA, right? And stem cells also get DNA damage, right? Uh, so the maintenance of your stem cells is also very important and it's one of the main key to longevity as well. So now that we understand three things that causes aging, one is DNA damage, second is the telomere, and third is the stem cells, which is the beauty of your body. Okay. So is longevity really possible for us? So the longest that human, is it really possible for us? Now, if you actually did a study online, you go and check. In the 1900s, the average lifespan of human being was at 42. Now, the average lifespan of human being is 82 years, 82, all right? That means every day, without knowing why, our life is expand, extending six hours every single day. We're not sure because maybe of the improved the healthcare and the technology that we have and with the products that Jonas has, I'm sure we can do better. And can we extend our longevity? Is there one single magic pill? Not that we know of, that there's no one single magic pill because if you can help with stem cells, you still need help with DNA damage and you still need help with telomere. Because even your stem cells repair, your telomere gets shorting, shorting, you still die anyway. So, can we do that? Now, the world record is 122 years old. Can we do better? Which is exactly what the telomere tells you, right? Without any disease or anything. 120 is the max, so that's why the world record is still at 122. Now, yes, we believe that we have found the solution in Jeunesse. All right, that's why we call it, yes, youth enhancement system. So what is the solution? Well, the solution is actually inside our DNA. So the target is in our DNA with our products over here. So all our product, three products, Reserve, Finity, and AMPM helps to solve these three problems that we're facing today, the DNA damage, telomere shortening as well as the stem cell uh, being destroyed okay so first thing we talk about reserve now what does reserve do reserve contains eight super antioxidants all right so inside that uh, resveratrol has a secret okay inside that contains not just antioxidants but also contains resveratrol so let me help you understand a little bit of what resveratrol now resveratrol was first discovered in grapes okay and it is based on this theory called calorie restriction theory now, how, it, or how we started uh, finding out about resveratrol was that for a long time, scientists has been, um, uh, biology scientists has been testing on human beings and animals. They started with fly, fruit fly first, and they tried to see whether if they restrict the calorie, that means food intake of the fly by, by a certain percentage, would that actually increase their lifespan? That means would they live longer? And it's been proven across millions and millions of studies not just on, on flies, but on sheep, on dogs, on animals, all the way to human beings. They have started across the whole broad of race, the whole human race, the whole animal race, and millions of studies have really been done. You can Google them, calorie restriction theory, and they found out that when human beings eat 40% less, you can live 30% longer. Wow, I didn't know that. So now I'll eat less. Huh? But uh, is that really applicable to human being? Can you really eat less, like maybe one carrot, one cabbage and one tomato a day, you'll be diving of starvation, right? So, so is that really possible? It is. It has really been achieved. And sanitarians are people who live more than 100 years old have achieved that. And you can find them in California and some Japan islands, some Italy islands, some islands away from the city. People who don't live in the city area, they have. And they eat a lot. But the problem is, why does calorie restriction increase longevity? Why? And this is where David Sinclair from Harvard University did a study and he found out why. And he found out that when human beings starve or with any, any actually animal starve, okay, that means when they don't have enough food, you know what happens? You know that we have genes, right? We have dormant genes. Every genes are, that are not being turned on. We have good genes and bad genes. So when good genes are being turned on, something will happen to us. Good things happen to us. So there are some good genes that turn on but only emergency. That means when you are having some health problems or when you're having some uh, starving, when you're starving, there are two genes that get turned on, sirtuin 1 and sirtuin 3. All right, that these two genes turn on. And when these two genes get turned on, your immune system, everything starts to get boosted. 
everything your 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 heart works better everything works better it just start to kick up that's like the emergency button okay so basically but is that really possible can we do calorie restriction without eating to activate the gene so which is not possible for human being for a lot of people actually okay so what the, what he found out was that he found out there's an ingredient uh, polyphenols in the red wine which contains resveratrol that will activate the gene and therefore it can mimic calorie restriction so when you activate that gene and calorie restriction everything starts to boost up in your body all right so it is an antioxidant so let me ask you do you get damaged 1 million times a day every day through oxidations every day 1 million times yes you do so let me ask you since you're getting oxidation every day do you need to take antioxidants every day yes you do if, uh, if you are above 30 do you need to take even more antioxidants every day since your dna is damaged faster before it can be even repaired yes you need every day so you need to take reserve every single day all right so that's why reserve is good to maintain your body to prevent oxidation second what reserve does is that it will increase your memory all right reserve will also reduce your fat cells so when you weigh yourself weighing machine is not a good measurement measure your fat cells okay resveratrol would also boost energy and endurance in muscle cells it's been proven to do that it's also been proven to enhance muscle strength and also proven to decrease fatigue and also increase coordination okay so that's the good things about reserve and therefore of course at the end it will enhance longevity okay now one disclaimer i must say although i say proven all right proven means proven for the majority there are some people who take reserve which are not suitable for them for example some people take uh, are allergic to fruits like blueberries so they have allergies so it may not be suitable to them some people may find it a little bit too heaty they may have to drink more water some people take a few drops it may not be suitable for them just like uh panadol may not be suitable for every single body body okay every single body but is it proven to work? Yes, it is. Is antibiotics suitable for everybody? Not everyone. That's why doctors will ask you whether you have drug allergies. Drugs, some of them have proven, proven to work, but not suitable for everybody as well. So you got to try for yourself to know. As long as you're not allergic to any of those fruits, most of the time, most people think it's good. Okay. Second is we have a product which can lengthen your telomere and no one in the world has a product that can do that. So for you, for me to explain to you how this product came about, that's when I will tell you the story, okay? Well, because Finity contains a product called Astragalus Root, which contains the ingredient that will activate your telomerase, and therefore it will lengthen back your telomere. So maybe a little bit confused now? Just wait for a while, okay? I will tell you the telom telom telomerase story. Now, this won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2009-2010, because they discovered something that can actually lengthen back your, tel your telomere called a telomerase, which is an enzyme. But how did they discover that? Well, so a lot of scientists have been studying for the last 10 to 20, 20, 15, 20 to 25 years. How come every time the telomere gets shortened, gets split up, it gets shorter and shorter? And how come we cannot live forever? So they've been checking our cells. And what they've been doing is that they've been looking at all kinds of cells to see which cells in our body or even in animals or anyone the telomere doesn't get shortened and how comes it get shortened and then by accident you know they found there's one cell that the telomere never gets shortened and can live forever and these are the germinal cells and germinal cells can live forever why because their telomere never get shortened and you know what are germinal cells they are your sperm cells okay so the good news is the key to long to living forever could it be inside our sperm since our sperm can live forever under a controlled environment like if you froze them or if you you put them into an environment are free of bacteria or anything it the sperm can live forever so why can sperm live forever because the telomere can never get shortened and why does the telomere get never get shortened here's why they, they discovered they discovered that inside your tel your telomere Right inside your sorry inside your 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 your, your sperm cells contains a uh, enzyme called telomerase, which will lengthen back your telomere every time your telomere gets shortened. So I'm going to show you an animation of how it works. So you can see from here, 
that the telomere gets shortened. Every time your telomere, this is your telomere, every time it gets shortened, your telomeres would put the sequence back onto a telomeres, therefore lengthening back your, tel your telomere, even though it's shortening. So I'll show you an animation of this. So when your telomere, when uh, your telomere gets uh, replaced back, shortened back, I don't know, increased back in length, it will start increasing. Your telomere will start lengthening it back, as you can see from this animation. Okay, and what happened is that this is the animation to show you how it works. Whoops. Okay, this is how it works. Uh, next one, sorry. Okay, so in this video you will see as the telomeres, the your, your chromosome will activate a telomerase that will activate your telomere to be restored back. Okay, and that's why your sperm cells never die. And we found out that there is an and when your your telomere grow back, here's what happens: your cells start to rejuvenate and come alive again, and it will start to replicate healthily, like a healthy cells. Okay, and Fidelity is the only product on the planet in the history of mankind that can safely lengthen back your telomere. And when you lengthen back your telomere, can you imagine what happens? Your energy improve, your focus improve, your memory improve, your vision improve, your sleep improve, your bones improve, your libido improve, your joints improve, your wound healing improve, your weight control improve, and there are countless benefits. All right, or people taking Finity. All right, Finity, no one in the world has it, so that's why we are so excited about what Finity is going to do for mankind. All right, and if you can get your hands on Finity, please grab it. Okay, for your family members, even if they are thirty, if they are thirty years and above, maybe you can take Finito to prevent your telomere from shortening. Okay, and you take two in the morning, all right, and two in the evening. Very simple. Okay, the second is AMPM. AMPM products does a few things. Okay, it does DNA repair. It also helps with telomerase activation, which lengthens back your telomere, which is but it's not as good as Finito. Finito grows back even faster. Okay. And it will do calorie restriction, uh, restriction activator. So when you take together with reserve, it's complementary. It will actually help you to uh, speed up weight loss as well. And it also will help to do your DNA maintenance. Remember, I told you after 30 years old, why you age? Because your DNA, why you get age and you get health problems is because your DNA cannot repair itself as good as well anymore. So it needs nutrients to actually repair the DNA. So AMPM provides the nutrients to repair your DNA. And therefore, it will also repair your stem cells because the stem cells inside contains chromosome as well. So it will repair your stem cells, and when you repair your stem cells, repair your cells, and that's why you need AMPM. And one of the benefits of AMPM is that this first step is that nutritional loading. Straight away, your cells would be new, would be given the nutrients to repair the DNA, okay? Either it's stem cells, or whether it's your normal cells, or any cells in your body, okay? And what it does is that it will also improve ATP production in mitochondria, What's mitochondria? Mitochondria is the battery in your cells. Do you know that all your cells got battery? All right, just like your our body, right? Where's our battery? Our battery is our heart. So your cells battery is a mitochondria. So you increase the mitochondrial production and therefore increase the, the, the cells, the energy in your cells, all right, to work better. And the first thing you will realize is that AMPM, you'll find that your, your skin, all right, will get smoother, more hydrated and firm. This is the first thing you see when you look at your skin, when you take AMP, okay? It will give you more energy throughout the day. As you can see, people who age, usually in the daytime, they feel more awake, but at the nighttime, they start getting sleepy. I don't know, sorry. In the daytime, they get sleepy, sorry. In the nighttime, they find it difficult to sleep. And when you don't have enough sleep, your DNA cannot repair. And when your DNA cannot repair, and not, not even worse than that, is that when you age, your DNA cannot repair, and yet, it cannot repair as well anymore. So a lot of people thought they take the healthy, they just live healthily, you know, eat healthy food is good enough. Uh, and that's the reason why even when people take healthy food, they still get disease. So that's why nutrition, is this AMPM is still a very important role. It helps you to get more sleep, helps you to, to do the DNA repair because no amount of food you take can help you with your DNA maintenance to work better. All right, so this supplement actually helps you, AMPM, to improve your DNA maintenance and will have less mental fatigue, better sleep, better energy, better defense. You will improve your body composition, less body fat. It will give you more positive mood and fewer mood swings, okay? 
it will improve your resistance towards cold and flu. And of course, it would long-term benefit, it would have healthy longevity. Okay, this is the long-term benefits. Take two in the morning uh, after food and take two in the night just before you sleep. Okay, and then that last thing is that, well, if our body is uh, repairing by itself with all the three products that we have, we also need to clear our body detox, all right? Imagine this, okay? You want to go into your, your house to do a renovation. You see the house is getting dirty. You go in. Do you straight away go in and start painting over it? No. The first thing you do is you go in the house to clean first. You spring clean the house. Then you go in and do the painting, correct? So imagine our reserve AMP Infinity goes in to do the painting. But before they go in and do the painting, uh, so that there's no dirt left behind, is to go in and do a detox. And Propectin is a safe alternative to do detox. Okay, so how safe is it? Well, as you can see, all our products are from nature. All right, so uh, the technology is being discovered uh, using nanotechnologies because the molecules that are needed to detox in our body are so small. They are nano molecules that are only found on green apples. And these green apples, uh, these molecules are called pectin that can only be found in apples produced in Poland. And that's why the company has to patent the process and it's a six step patented process, right? To extract this out. So what does pectin do? Well, it's a de natural detox. What has been proven to do is been proven to re safely remove heavy metals from your body, right? And also safely remove uh, radiation from your body, like your phones and all the radiation that you cannot be taken out from body. No way you can take out the flush the radiation except for perfectin, okay? It will help you to regulate healthy blood glucose level. It will help you to uh, regulate your insulin, your cortisol, and your blood sugar. That's why a lot of people who have diabetes take uh, Propectin, their sugar level actually uh, drop. Okay? It will help to increase your uh, good cholesterol and reduce your bad cholesterol. Your LDL cholesterol will drop and your HDL will actually increase. Okay? And Propectin is the only product that's ever endorsed by Dr. Michael Nobel, who is the co-founder of the Nobel Charitable Trust and a relative of Alfred Nobel and the founder of the Nobel Prizes. All, right? All the medical prizes in the world that are won by famous doctors, he's from the family and he gives the, the Nobel Peace Prize. So this guy has never endorsed a single product in his entire life and he invented also the MRI machine. So he will not lend his reputation to anything that is not proven to work and has not been proven to help humanity as the chairman and the co-founder of the Nobel Charitable Trust. Okay, so in conclusion, the problem that we know now in health problems and aging everything is inside our DNA. Since the solution is inside our DNA, can we unlock that solution? In Jeunesse, we have done that and we have already achieved that with Reserve, with AMPM, with Infinity, and with a detox called uh, Propectin. So if you take all four, that's why all these four makes up the whole system. So in Jeunesse, if we can keep one cell healthy, imagine what we can do for the next trillion, 60 trillion cells in our body. Okay? And if you do not already know, Jeunesse is a goal now. So I hope to see you guys uh, later on in the next part of the training and uh, and I hope you learned something new today about what Jeunesse ultimately the main goal of the product is trying to accomplish and I'll see you and God bless.